Hello you guys and welcome to your weekly love reading. I thank you for the couple weeks off. I had to take a couple weeks off and we're just going to do a little bit of Palo Santo here to get some positive vibrations going on because right now we're doing some crazy stuff in the energy field. So if you haven't checked out my um, energy shift prediction, go ahead and check that out. And you guys, right now love is everywhere. People are feeling it. They're feeling the longing to be in a relationship. Some people want their relationship to be better and some don't want any at all. So we're going to see as many groups of you as we can through this message. It will be a single message for a general reading for all zodiac signs. And I will do an extended for each specific zodiac sign that coordinates with this. And then I'll do a second one for you guys because I've been gone a while. I'm going to do a second one. I think I'm going to do this every week. Let me know uh, in the membership. I will be posting the extended version in there. So let's go ahead and start with the overall energy of you and them. Okay. Now one person is going to have one deck. And this will be this person. And then we're going to pull the other. Give me one second. I hope you guys are doing great. Remember my... Uh, private services uh, for single sessions are going to close on the 22nd of July and I don't know how long I'll have them closed um, but that's just a quick reminder so love a lot of my clients are feeling that that wanting to be in love even the ones that are angry still they still want that that feeling of being in love so let's see what the cards are saying for you as we look at your tarot reading. So whoever is on this side, we have the Queen of Swords. And that is a beautiful energy to start this week off with. The Queen of Swords is being authentic, it's being truthful. It's being able to recognize if anyone around you, like you're gonna know if they're lying. This is absolute leadership and authoritative type energy that we all carry with us. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual or have that in your chart. But whoever this Queen of Swords is, whether this is you or them, you'll decide which side of these two cards you're on. This is somebody who's looking for the truth. So when it comes to matters of the heart, you may be looking for something that's, uh, there you go. See, you're crying, okay? You've lost somebody, you've lost something, and you feel like there was something behind this that wasn't exactly what you thought it was. They may have been lying to you, they may have been cheating, they may have been, you know, some form of deception, and you want the truth because it hurt you deeply. I feel the relationship ended leaving you in this particular moment. Now, whether the relationship uh, ended completely or the two of you have separated, it'll be unique to you, but whatever it is, you're ready for the truth. Now, whoever you're dealing with, we have the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. So they, you may be dealing with somebody who's a really dreamy kind of an energy that felt they had a lot of options other than you. They may have been looking in a different direction because they want this Three of Cups. The Three of Cups can also, it, although this is joy and celebration, it can also indicate two people being intertwined. Now, I feel they know there was a connection between the two of you. They really did feel it, okay? That's what the cards are saying. They felt it, but yet they were conflicted, confused, because they have so many options around them. So that's the truth that I think some of you are looking for is, did they, did they go astray? Okay, did they go astray? And some of you are going, yes, they did. <laughs> now, this is an emotional attachment when we're talking about cups, and they may have been emotionally attached to you, but not attached to the other person. There could be a lot of variables, so let's keep going. Now, we're going to pull, here we go, the Hierophant. You may be feeling more of uh, a traditional type of a relationship, and they themselves may not be in a traditional mindset. So the, the, the options they have seem to work for them, but definitely not for you, indicating the two of you are not on the same page. If you're already in this relationship with them, you may have been even thinking about marriage while they're off looking in a different direction. But this is listening to outside society, okay? Listening to other people around you when it comes to this 
three of cups energy that's lying on the ground. The five of cups is feeling that broken hearted. And here we have the five of wands. So five, 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 fives are going to be very, very key this week. You've got three of them on the board already. And I just started the reading. Fives synchronistically, spiritually indicate a change is getting ready to take place. Because this person has taken that, that liberated feeling. They're stepping into a position saying, you know what, I'm going to follow my beliefs. I'm not going to listen to other people. I'm going to base it on my own decision. And the good thing about the Queen of Swords is they are willing to listen. They will listen to the other person or they'll listen to their own self. And what we really want is for you to listen to your own self, right? So let's keep going. <clears throat> we have the Three of Pentacles. A team camaraderie. This is a union. You, them, and the relationship being a trio. And again, you have the threes. So you're also maybe seeing threes. There may have been a threesome type energy in this in this particular relationship. We have the nine of pentacles. That, that feeling of independence. That feeling of I don't want to get married. And I feel that's what happened for those of you. Your partner didn't want to stay married or get married. They didn't want a higher level of commitment. It doesn't even have to be the M word. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not wanting to be hooked to just one person. Because they, although they want this, they want this as well. So there's a little bit of deception. If you look at this card, that's why I love these cards for contrast. Because they really show a lot of different options. This is not a positive energy down here where they may have been um, looking in a whole different direction. Now I'm going to pull some additional message and we're going to keep going with this because this is an actual storyline here for one of you. I imagine it's for several of you since we're looking at all different groups. Now I do feel Libra is in this reading. I feel Taurus is in this reading. Pisces is attached to the reading. Um, whether these are people you're dealing with or your own chart, these are very strong energies that may be the time that you met them or left them or that this whole situation happened. So the card that came out <clears throat> regarding the details is saying it's time. Uh, you guys were arguing. Okay. It's not just a self-sabotage. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's really early in the morning. I just woke up. Good morning to everyone. Um, this is that it can be the self-sabotage energy where we're combating in our own head. And I do feel you've been doing that. But right now you're, you're saying the arguing has got to stop. The fighting, the battling, you don't want it. But I feel this is really coming strongly on this side because this side is looking in a different direction. Okay, they're looking to walk away. They're looking at their options and trying to decide if they even want to be around you, date you, or stay in a relationship with you. We have the seven of pentacles, and the detail is saying before you get this anger inside of you, really analyze the situation and look at how much you put into it. Did you put it in uh, with this person by choice? Did you feel like it was manipulated? You know, really analyze the time, the devotion, everything that you were trying to make this a concrete relationship and when you're talking about your person they have the four of swords so they need a break from you they need a break from this relationship so they can figure out if they're going to actually go solo or if they're going to create a relationship with you or look at some of those options but the four of swords does come after the three of swords and that is a very very heartfelt pain that we have when we go through anything in life, particularly roman romantic relationships. So we also have for them the Three of Pentacles. Making plans and, and creating something that they want. This is a positive card, but it takes a long time. And it's again another three. So threes and fives are very, very significant in your week. You may be seeing them everywhere. It may be on, you know, the house numbers on an address. It could be on billboards. It could be three black cars in a row. Um, but threes and fives are very, very highlighted in this reading. But also with this planning and preparing, they're taking a step back. Do I stay with you? Do we get, uh, you know, break away completely? Do I relocate? Do I go somewhere else? 
So there's a lot of contemplation on their side because they are checking out their options. And equally so are you. So the two of you might be, although you are not together at the moment, or you are separated even in the same home in two different rooms, you know your hearts are you're just not on the same page. Um, you both are contemplating, what should I do? What direction do I go? Now, over here we have the King of Wands. So, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, but I feel for a lot of you, this is somebody you're dealing with that is very charismatic and very charming. You like them, you're mesmerized by them, you just want to be around them all the time. This is that type of person that they look good, they smell good, their shirt's tucked in. They have this not only visual attraction or ability to attract other people to them, they have it, everything about them, their voice, their scent, their appearance, their body gestures, like this is a captivating individual. So while you're looking at this whole situation, it may be very challenging for you to say, you know what, um, hey, I, I can't walk away from you, but I don't think that's what you're going to do. Now, for some of you, this is a brand new person that's going to come in, flying in right out of the blue while you are in this distance energy from each other. While you are not attached to him, both of you would have your backs turned to each other right now, looking and planning, do I go solo? Do I separate? Do I sever ties? I feel that this side is getting ready to actually put together, if you haven't already, a legal separation if you're in a relationship or you're getting ready to definitely you are ready to walk away but you still want to hear some truth from this king of, of wands now for those of you there are a group of you where you're going to meet somebody exactly like i described this individual is going to come right out of the blue and i do feel libra is attached to this very very strongly the knight of Swords can be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual, but Libra's highlighted here. So this might be somebody that you've already met, not that you dated them, not that you were ever involved with them, but somebody who you remembered how adorable they were. Not even adorable. This is like sexy, right? This is the beautiful, I want you bad kind of energy coming in. And I feel for a lot of you, this is what's happening. The backs are turned to each other and you're going to meet somebody that's going to do that to you. And you're going to be tempted to look in a different direction. So let's see what your partner's doing. We have the Queen of Swords. So they are ready to make this separation final. Again, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius individual. And this is hiring an attorney, making plans for the future. So some of you have completely broken apart from this person and you're waiting for the finalization of it for those of you who weren't in an actual relationship somebody you were dating this is wondering are they going to contact me and i don't think they will now we have the world card so this is about travel traveling moving to new locations and this they're planning and preparing to start a new chapter and i don't feel they want you in it even though they have this beautiful connection to you the Queen of Swords, again, could be a, a person coming in where they may be that that temptation is there. Because remember, with the Queen of Swords, regardless of the zodiac sign, they carry this very authoritative uh, energy with them, a leadership. So they're very much uh, similar to the King of Wands, how they can captivate you with their appearance, with their scent, with other senses. The Queen of Swords captivates with words, with communication, and really taps into that intellectual sign of this individual. Now, equally, there's a Queen of Swords over here, so you are on the back burner. And I feel that this person, more so than being with anybody else at this moment, is deciding, do I stay? Do I go? Do I contact them? What do I do? Because I want this new beginning, and I want it to be a real relationship. I want it, they have the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands. And they came out of the Three of Swords with that Four of Swords energy. So you're dealing with somebody who's already been through a lot when it comes to romantic relationship. But yet they're ready to get back out there. Now, 
we're going to pull a little bit more detail, you guys, and then I'm going to pull a um, romance card for you. Please remember my readings close on, on July 22nd for single session. So if you'd like to find out what your reading is, you can book that at my website. We have this beautiful, beautiful card, Head Over Heart. And that's what we're seeing on the board. It's, it's a lot of swords, a lot of cups. There's a lot of thought behind this relationship, relationships overall in general for you. And you want that ultimate partnership. You want somebody who captivates your heart and your mind and your soul. You want the full package. They make you laugh. They make you giggle. But yet again, this over here, there was that division. Remember, with this is that twin flame dynamic where it's two soulmates that have completely different opposite points of view of life. The way they act, the way they do things is very opposite. But yet when they come in the middle, they create that three of pentacles energy where they get they they like get centered with each other they synergize together as a couple so that's that pull that's what makes this such a challenge to walk away from this relationship now these are not for those that message is not for those of you who are in abusive relationships at all please know that that's not a twin flame relationship so with this, there's a big decision of head over heart, and you're going to make that final decision over the next week. Do I or don't I? Are you going to pick them? Or are you going to pick the new person? Are you going to choose to go in a different direction? It is a very monumental week, and you can feel the energy shifting around you, but it's it's going to be very, very good for you. Once you get to around Friday of the week, Friday of the following week you're gonna f it's you're just gonna know from within you're going to know it's only going to take you a matter of time because you've already been going through this you've already spent a lot of energy and effort you already know what you're dealing with because of the separation between the two of you if this is somebody you're dating then you dated once or twice or you spoke with them on the phone and wondering do I even consider them in my life you're going to make a decision on how you want to proceed forward by Friday of this week. Some of you, it may roll into Saturday, but you are definitely going to do it. Now we have the Queen of Wands, and that's saying that there is this beautiful partnership. This person was dealing with more than one person. I will tell you that. They had a lot of options, a lot of opportunities based on the fact that they got hurt in the past, so they don't want to be in a commitment, but yet they want a commitment. I know it doesn't make sense. How can they do that? But when we have that pain, we want to feel like we're in a relationship, feel loved and nurtured all the time. And I don't feel they're a manipulator. I don't feel that they're like a narcissistic individual, but they definitely can come across that way because they themselves are at a crossroad in between. It's like they do this to themselves right here. They, they come from mind and heart, mind and heart back and forth and they want somebody that is their partner they really do and i feel they're getting ready to move with the energy that's flowing around us over the next um i feel this person's going to make a decision on what direction they want to go by august okay this is being recorded in july i feel they're going to do it in august they may also be meeting you. They may be meeting somebody else. But this Queen of Wands represents their counterpart. We have the King and the Queen. All right. We have two Queens over here. So this is a relationship where there is that beautiful connection of you're on this on the same level of life. Doesn't mean you're on the same page, meaning you're in the same um, your income is in the same range. Your location is in the same range. But yet, they want passion, they want excitement, they want sensuality, they want sex, they want all of these amazing things that come with the Queen of Wands. So, we are having them march out here into the world, feeling very, very victorious by the end of the week. So, on the sixth day of the week, they are going to do this. We also see three, four, five, and six, and seven three, four, five, six, seven synchronistic numbers. So this is a very progressive situation. I feel for most of you, this is somebody that you have already met, 
that you have already been in a relationship with. There is a big turnaround coming over the next six to seven days for this group of you. And it is going to be very spectacular because both sides are in their uh, own power, right? They are feeling confident enough to get out there, feeling everything about them. They can make the right decision based on their own clear mind. And that is very, very good. So let me pull a romance card and then we're going to switch over to those of you who are in the membership for the extended. We're going to look at each zodiac sign with this reading and I will do another separate reading for you guys in there as well. So we have express your love. If you are with a person that you know is your person, okay, you know that there's a connection. The two of you really do have a bond here. You have an incredible opportunity to really connect and be one. And that is getting ready to be seen. If you want them, you have to express your love. You have to tell somebody you love them. Now for this individual over here, we have, let me pull one card for them, codependency. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody that needs a little bit of work or did. That may be why you were separated because that work was needed for those of you where you've been divided from them. I feel that this, all of this is them going through all the energies from the three of swords that underlie the four of swords energy. They needed to heal themselves. They needed to move forward because they were dealing with codependency, whether it's them or other people, most likely it was both. So you guys, let's go ahead and take a look at each zodiac sign, starting with Aries, on this relationship, and then I'll do another reading for you as well. These are in the membership. You can join the membership by clicking the link below. Have a great week. Much love.